Good morning and a warm welcome to our virtual worship at St Albans for the fourth Sunday in Lent. We are so glad you are joining us. Uh, please feel free to pause the video at any point if you wish to go get a prayer book or light a candle or have bread and wine available. You're welcome to do so. And, and there'll also be a time to pause uh, at, the, at the point where we would normally take communion together. We are so glad you're with us. The service begins on page 355 in the Book of Common Prayer. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. God's, God's mercy, mercy endures, endures forever. forever. Almighty God, to you all, all hearts, hearts are, are open, open all, all desires, desires known, and, and from, from you no secrets are hid. Are Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, Evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. For once you were darkness, but now in the Lord you were light. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 23. Holy Ghost of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. As Jesus walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind, blind so that God's work might be revealed in him. We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said this, he spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which means sand. 
Then he went and washed and came back able to see. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, it is he. Others were saying, no, but it is someone like him. He kept saying, I am the man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord Christ. Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Whenever I hear or read this passage from John's Gospel, when the man born, born blind insists that it was in fact he who was healed by Jesus by saying, I am the man, I'm reminded of a time when in search of a specific type of heavy copper wire for a sculpture I was making, I was helped by a worker at a large industrial material supplier. After showing me exactly what I was looking for and cutting me the length of wire that I needed, I thanked him by saying, you are the man. Without a moment of hesitation, he looked at me and said, no, nah, I'm not the man. I'm just one of them. Last Thursday, our church staff at a working lunch spent about an hour and a half debating how as a church we would respond to the growing need for social distancing in response to the coronavirus. By the end of that meeting, we had agreed that we would err on the side of caution and be the first church in the diocese to voluntarily close, voluntarily close our doors for public gatherings. When walking back to the church, I stopped at a coffee shop and ran into Jean-Michel, the executive director of Friendship Place. Jean-Michel was with some of his staff, and after greeting one another with an elbow bump, I suggested that he and his staff were probably engaged in the same conversation that our staff had just finished. Yes, he said, we we're trying to figure out how to care for people. By the time we got back to St. Albans, we had learned that in a matter of hours, the bishop would communicate to the diocese that all churches and church buildings would be closed for business for the next two weeks. Since that time, of course, the length of time that our church buildings will be closed has reached into Holy Week and Easter. The mandate for social distancing has grown, but in the midst of all of this, what I have witnessed is something that I can only think of as the opposite of social distancing. What I mean by that is that in the midst of this crisis, what I have witnessed more than anything else is not distance, but kindness. I've had to create a folder in my inbox that I've called Help Me. Help Me is where I keep all of the emails from parishioners, many of them being newcomers, who have written to offer their support for members of our community. Thanks be to God and why we, while we all pray and take the appropriate actions to reduce the effects of the pandemic, at this point, as a church, we have more offers by those willing to help than we have requests by those who need it. Recently, I learned from a friend about a telephone app being used in their community in Northern Virginia so that local residents can make requests and inquiries with their neighbors while remaining in their own homes. A St. Albans parishioner recently told me about how they are working with the administrators of the building that they live in to ensure that the needs of every resident in their community are met. All of this is to say that in your own isolation, whatever that might be like for you, if you need something, say something. Recently, I read an email from Matthew Sorens, the National Director for the Evangelical Immigration Table, an organization that encourages Christians across the country to learn more about the biblical mandate to love the stranger and teaching them how to live out that mandate in churches, in communities, and in our nation. Sorens writes, 
as we adjust to this situation and care for our families, I'm trying to use this unique time to be more faithful in prayer. Theologian Esau Magali shared a suggestion that I've been trying to adopt. As I wash my hands more frequently and for longer than normal, I'm using those 20 seconds to pray specifically for all those who are affected by the COVID-19 crisis. While there is never a good time to experience what as a nation and as a world we are experiencing, as Christians there couldn't be a more appropriate season to do just what Sorens suggests. As we move toward the reasonable and holy hope of Easter and resurrection, perhaps we too can use this unique time and experience of wilderness our collective Lent, perhaps a time that for some of us will also include lament, to be more faithful in prayer, and perhaps a time to focus on another biblical mandate, to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. On Friday, hopefully you received the full extent of the readings appointed for this fourth Sunday in Lent, for purposes of brevity, we have not included them in their entirety for this recorded Eucharist, but they couldn't be more apropos for the time that we find ourselves in. The reading from 1 Samuel reminds us of our need to pray for faithful, capable leaders. The reading from Ephesians reminds us that our calling in this time is to live as children of light, Praying the 23rd Psalm reminds us that we shall never hope in vain, nor shall we ever face our perils alone, for even when in the darkest valley, God's rod and God's staff are, are our eternal comfort. Today's gospel reading calls us to see, to see Jesus, our strength, our savior and our healer and to live in a way that others from time to time might just see Jesus in us. Not to be the man, but to strive to be more like him. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And so together let us affirm our trust in God. We believe in one God, the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made flesh. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We make our appeal to you, O Lord, and with sincerity of heart we pray, God of love, God of mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In this season of Lent, soften what is hard in our hearts. God of love, God of mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Help each and every one of us to lift up our hearts. Lift them up to reveal your glory in the world through the gifts that you have bestowed within each of us. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for all those searching for your will and a sense of your presence in their lives. We pray for all who are blinded to seeing, for whatever reason, your mercy, your love, and your call. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for God's mercy, for God's presence. In your time, Lord, cleanse each of us and the nations of the world from hatred, envy, and malice. Save us from the need to win or compete or prevail. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Today we pray for medical professionals, for caregivers, and for all those working to relieve the suffering in our world. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those financially at risk as economic activity slows. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in the hotel and restaurant industries and for all who are especially vulnerable. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all leaders, for those who lead our communities, towns, cities, states, our country, and our world. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in immigration and detention facilities and all those for whom asylum or social distancing is impossible. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and for all who are suffering, especially Alex Nechvalidov, Neil Wilson, Penny Glass, Faye Kearns, Harriet Isaac and family, Max Feely, Pat Martin, Marsha Oates, Dick Law, Kit Yarrow, Sandra Lofton, David Johnson, and those we name now. And we pray for all who have died, especially Barbara Yeomans, Gail Dean Metzger, those who have died from the coronavirus around the world, and those we name now. God of love, God of mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, hear the prayers of your people, and what we ask faithfully grant that we may obtain effectually and all to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. 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 May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with you. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice. This man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. This man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. This man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. This man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. If he's a sinner, I do not know. One thing I do know is that I was blind and now I see. This man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. This man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. How can a sinful man do such signs? How can a sinful man do such signs? Keep it the grace of the Lord. Sin. 
Remember that all things come of thee, O Lord, and of no, thine own do we give thee. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with, with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to, to give, give God thanks and praise. praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You bid your faithful people cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Paschal Feast, that fervent in prayer and in works of mercy, and renewed by your word and sacraments, they may come to the fullness of grace which you have prepared for those who love you. And therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and to death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, 
this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. And therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died. Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity and constancy and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the, the feast. feast. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith and with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Here we invite you to pause the video if you wish to participate in the taking of bread and wine.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.